Hi and welcome to the Naihachi channel. Today I'm with my student TC and we're going to be showing you a part of Naihachi and we're going to show you how to do it as a drill, a two-person drill. Okay, so if you've been practicing your Naihachi, every once is a little bit different. A single block, double block, back fist like this. Okay, now I'm going to give you a different drill we do for this. All right, now we're going to go from the this way just like this so we're not going single to double okay single okay we're doing a double block like this the whole time okay so we're not doing any of them single and within this all of them are double so what we're going to do is notice TC's out here like this okay now watch the trick to making this work is bringing this hand in and up in and up in and up in and up now this is just one of many drills we have for this type of technique. Now whatever, TC punches at me, I might have used a technique like this, using this move. He throws another punch or whatever, I'm using outside strong block, maybe finish with that move here. But, you know, that's a bunker. We're going to go into some drills here. So, two person drill. Now if I just break out of this drill and throw a wild punch or something, he, he said we stopped that, he did the drill correctly, he just reacted, he's bringing out his reactions with this technique to where he'll just react. Now if I end up kotogashi him from here, uh, kotogashi, he ends up, watch what he does, he puts his fist in here, he pushes the elbow over, then he smacks down and comes back up, okay? If I'm grabbing him out of here, okay, so I'm going to go slow, we're here, 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 all of a sudden I grab get him to kotogashi. I'm turning and, and turning this way, okay? Now if you don't know this type of, of hold, okay, if you don't know any of, of these type of locks or throws, what I suggest you do is just grab the hand for now. It, it, I mean, a kotogashi is basically an advanced two hand grab that can, you know, torque your tendons and ligaments and send you flying, but what uh, he's going to do is be placing this fist in here. And this is, he's using the basic lever and fulcrum method pushing over his elbow to release it, then he's smacking down with that same and going right back into the drill, okay? Now watch, now I'm going to do a trapping hand type of technique. I'm just going to grab him, grab him, trap him and go to punch him. Now watch what he does. He's going to bring his hand inside, break my hand and then go right back to my face. So watch again, grab, grab, see? So basically what's happening is when someone usually traps you, say he punches at me, all right? Punch, and I do a trap here and go to punch him. Most people say, oh, well, my arms are locked in here like this, and I, I can't do anything for a moment. But all you have to do is bring it up and out. And once you get used to this drill, you can easily just bring that up and out. Watch what I'm saying now. I'm going to we'll angle this way so you can get a better view. Okay, we're doing the drill. Okay, see how we just brought that right up? Now see when I pushed it at him, he just kind of went back to pull it up at the same time. It becomes instinctive after a while. And uh, you can't really be trapped that way. Now, um, if he punched at me, if he punched, if I did a Nahanshi type of trap, it's a little bit harder to just get out of. You notice I'm locking him in here and pressing this down so he can't just bring the other hand up and out, so it becomes a lot more difficult. So I really like the Nahanshi system. There's a lot of reasons I like it, but that's one of them. Okay, thanks a lot. And thank you for watching my channel. Look, I'll put on some more drills. I'm going to be breaking these drills down for you more. And uh, if you have any questions on anything, feel free to give me a call. Um, if you give me some real bad insulting question, I'm not going to answer you. If you want an answer to something, ask me and um, I'll be glad to share with you and help you out. Thanks again for watching my channel. Thank you.